Hi, my name is Vakkarli. I'm going to demonstrate how SAML2 federation works in Open IAM using a very simple example. For this, I will use two instances of Open IAM. One will act as the identity provider, another will act as the uh, service provider. So I'm going to sign into the first uh, instance, openam.fedtest.com, and create a hosted IDP in it. So after signing in, I'll go to common tasks, uh, select the option to create hosted IDP and uh, select this as a sign key, enter the name of uh, circle of trust and um, enter mail as the mapping attribute. Once the IDP gets created, you can go to the Federation tab and uh, verify it. Next, I'll sign in to the uh, second instance, openam.fedtest.net and uh, create a hosted service provider in there. Once done, it will give me the option to create remote IDP. For that, I will point it to the metadata of the first instance. Once done, you can go to the Federation tab and verify the creation of both the hosted SP and remote IDP. I will go back to the first instance to create a remote SP and for that I'll point it to the metadata of the second instance. Again for mapping I will use the mail attribute. So the remote SP gets created. Now you can go to the Federation tab of both instances and verify the configuration done. So we are done with the configuration. Next step is to test this out. For that, first we will initiate SSO from SP using the SP uh, SSO init page. Uh, it will direct us to the IDP for login. And upon successful login, it will direct us to SP and ask us to log in there as well. Uh, this will link these accounts and it will persist in future as well You'll see the single sign-on succeeded message now when you try after clearing out cookies You just need to sign in once because the accounts have been linked in the previous previous step Similarly when you will do IDP initiated SSO you will just need to sign in once This concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.